Corona by cause the process of you know um, recording, sharing, recording, downloading stuff, etc. Like that. That is actually what I want to buy because to go stream live. You guys can go in and watch it as you want. That's actually what I was trying to do because but it's pretty fucking crazy. Like you know, people are having uh, music on when we're listening. Okay. So DXY is gonna be our main player. It's gonna be the main list that we're gonna be looking out for today. Then um, we can actually predict what the foreign currency can actually be doing. But well, once again, I want you guys to, to please do for me whenever you're in this room, please always promote yourself. Um, I don't want to have the issue of going back and forth to move everyone. You always want to have the most button. It's just for everybody's sake, not for my personal sake. So let's get started. Most of you guys are must have been sleeping, but it doesn't fucking matter. So that's why daily, what is this looking like? What did I look, what, what can I see on the expire at this moment? I can actually tell. Hold on. What is it? Why is it lagging around? Okay, so this is on the daily on the XY. So before I go on the daily, I'm gonna go a little bit away to the weekly just to show you guys some stuff. So let's check the weekly time frame on the amount. That's why. So I really want to make this real quick. I don't want this recording to be so long. Like, you know, I don't want it to be so long like that. So Jexra, what does it look like? Don't mind me about all this Yaro, but this is going to be some sort of educational stuff just for you guys to understand what I'm looking at at this point. You can see Jexra is on a bullish run to the side. There was a low crater right here back in March 20. March 20. I'm going to hire at this point around the March 23 or so. And uh, since then, um, um, I'm not, this is around the 16 and then um, 09. Look at us, you know, created a structure on this point from here to the upside. This is the structure, and this happens to be some, some sort of a transfer back into a sensational footprint around this area. I'm not okay, been trying to rally to the upside right from there. So the weekly structure looks a little like way more bullish than the rest to move on the weekly. So I'm going to go a little bit down, a little bit back to the daily time frame. One thing, guys, you want to always do is what you always want to understand what the flow of the market is at that point in time. You want to understand what the market flow is, and you want to trade in direction of that. With that, you won't be having an issue trading or trying to catch a falling white or such. So, on the daily, we can actually see we get some side of resistance. We got some kind of bull right here, market push on this area. And there was a, some sort of a distribution right here before the market eventually makes its way back down on the forward time frame. This box that I like to happens to be a distribution field before this whole push, the downside I was right. Then we can actually see it when the market dropped all the way back here, they came all the way back to start expecting a nice structure, which is what a nice resistance area looking back to the left. Can actually tell right from here. Now we got a nice move right there. Look at the market come all the way back to the structure and drop. In this initially we can actually anticipate there was a nice position of footprint right here. Then the market came all the way back to the area and then actually drop right there. So if you look at this pair on the daily, you cannot actually see that the main swings were being traded by the sectional areas. We check back this with the load that was being taken out. I've always been saying this. We took this load out to rate stop loss and the market eventually respect a nice sectional flow right here and moved the way back to the side. Mike came all the way back into this church door and spread it down. Now the last rally that was occurring right here was based on this institutional footprint. You can actually can tell right from here. This was the footprint I'm talking about, I'm talking about the OB. Around this area, this OB was not actually something I invented. This was invented by Mike, you know, of ICT. I promise that you guys have been in able to take this course or sort. So it was the one I eventually invented OB after the market structure. So credits is given to whoever credits is the sub. So he decided the credit. So I'm giving credit because what actually invented works in the market. So he invented that. So we're looking at that. There was an institutional order for other block right there that market actually expected. I'm not going to be looking at that because I mainly trade technical analysis. So, and um, I don't take people's credits for what I do. So market actually rallies all the way. Look at you put the fee on this impulse to the upside. You can actually tell market bouncing of a system um, of a six one region. And um, for those of you that have always been following me, you always want to understand. Anytime I can respect my golden area, which is the 600 to the 7200 level, we just want to stipulate the negative 72 as a one one movement on the last rally to the upside. Talking about the one one movement, we're talking about the impulse that we got from this area back into this upside. We can actually stipulate that move. Market to repeat the same thing. 
So we can actually have split market fitting. Similarly, they did right here for them to make completely move right here or so. So if market complete this thing like this leg that I've called right here, if this type of leg you call right here also, this could actually force back to a very nice resistant area back here, right? And unfortunately, call for some sort of short entry so in case market gets way back there. Very, very nice. You can actually see that for coin of the daily. So what I'm actually expecting is that market can actually come back to take this stop out. At this point in time, I see market trying to on stop front. So right now on the daily, we can actually see this is the top we got, this is the main top we got around this area because of this swing. If market goes away and do the same thing as it try and validate this low and makes it way back up, if they go all the way back to this area and validate this top, they can actually make their way back downside. So on the daily time frame, the market still is still look bullish also. We can actually see this on the institutional area also making it back into either side rallies into the upside. So what am I expecting right now on the daily week? On the weekly we see bullishness and the daily we see bullishness. So we're gonna go a little bit way more lower. Let's see on the H4, what are we looking at on the H4? You don't want to forget that we're still looking out for market to expect this area. So in case market only wants to go to the upside. So this is the fifth level, and this is like to some two. We're looking out for a nice assistant area. Interested right there, look through candles, you can actually see what the market is really doing right there. It can actually tell us that I identified this stock right here, and this was the low that we got at this point in time. This was the whole structure that market is staying in between. I'm talking about this is structure to the downside, and market is in between the structure. So you can tell once the market takes this eye out, that we can actually see market trying to express on some stock front or such. So this is what I'm looking at on this for. I'm looking out for see some kind of move back to the downside a little bit before the market actually makes a way back up. So if I'm looking out for some of stuff like that, I'm going to be looking out for where are the um, levels that market can actually come back to on the front and frame. So H4, I was trying to do some sort of pattern like a small pattern, trying to take pattern like this to the higher at this point of the lower at this area. So I'm going to look higher higher right here, we're going to some lower and lower right here. So if I can come back into this region and what respect the next level right there, talking about the 170 big figure number. So when you come back to the 170 area, as a post model area, take out these tops, and eventually makes a way a little bit back to the downside. So talking about something like this, if market take out the stop and come all the way back to this area, there's that chance of market coming a little bit more lower before they make their way back to the downside, to the upside, and eventually comes on the way down. That's for that's for the H4. So looking at this, I'm gonna go a little bit way more lower again just to show you guys some kind of pattern that I'm looking at. So I can show you on the H4. Daily, we're looking at for price to get back into this range. H4, we're looking at for some sort of for small area at this point. So what am I looking at on the one hour time frame? I'm gonna go back there to see something right now. Placing a sort of channel around this area, you can start to form some sort of chart pattern or some sort of pattern right there. You can actually see if I can make way back to that range. It's high chance of price dropping every day right from there. So there's something I want you guys to understand also. Look at when the stop was being related. When the stop was being related, what did market do eventually? Market make his way to the downside. When the stop was being related, what did we do? We took out the stop right there. Initially, there were some sort of a block around this area. We took out the stops, the market make his way way more lower. So it's fairly significant level, position out of flow. Then eventually makes the way back to the upside. Market already stopped initially last week. You can see what are we doing? It came a little bit lower. It's very nice sensational gap on free gap. There was a spin gap around this area. Market spread out on free gap. And then eventually it makes its way more higher. So this is what I'm looking at. If market take this top out, I will be looking at the set around this area. So initially, if this type of thing happens in the market, maybe get something like oh come on. Maybe get something like this. The market actually makes its way back, back, then it's actually make something like this for the market industry. That's way more uh, predictable. You can see market doing that. So on this one, on the H4 right now, that's what we're looking at. H1, what are, what is it to ask in? We're going to take a little back to 15 minutes or so to see. So each one, you guys can actually identify what I'm looking at right here. I'm looking at a stop on series and the manipulation areas so that market can take the lows and eyes out and make sure make the way back to the upside or downside. You can see we took out this high, drove down, took out this low, pushed up, took out this low, pushed up. This is the high, this is the low we got at this point in time. So this is what I'm looking to be expecting. If you guys are looking out for TPs, areas, etc., like that, 
it's very very way more like um, to do this thing to to look out for those and eyes in the market to, to trade off so now this is what i'm looking at this is the high we got at this point in time when the market takes this eye out i'm looking up a source entry right from this small area or back into the structure right guys let's look at my event areas there was a nice OB right here met my market um um, that was what he actually that was what he invented so if you look at the last candle to the upside what's it called last candle to the move to the upside that was a nice opening right there there was another figure for this one also market eventually has not make his way back into the region so if market wants to come back right there we're going to do the equilibrium area back into this range we got 50 feet right there one point hundred seventy happens to be a very significant area for short entry so i think this market wants to make his way more to the downside 170 happens to be a very good area so what i'm actually expecting is that until market gets into this range i won't be expecting anything if market gets back into this range i'm looking at a stump point right above this resistance for short entry back into the structure right here i think on the h4 there was a structure there was a nice structure right here on the h4 this area on that was on the h4 that's if market comes back into this resistance I'm going to be looking at a stop point area. That's if you get the lab to be bullish. But I really don't want to see the lab being bullish this week. I think that is going to be a big bearish this week. So if market breaks all the way back into this structure and respect this resistance, there's high chance of them stopping out right here to make the move to the downside. Here's a fib on this last drop from this area. Bring it all the way to the downside and actually tell where the 618 is sitting on right here. So 101.00. 101.70 happens to be a very good area for manipulation area. 618. So in case market breaks out, it stops. This is going to be a very good area to look out for short opportunity. Right here. You can see before I start the zoom, at this level to set down there. At time frame, if market comes back into this region, I'll be looking out for short opportunity. But on the H1 right now, I'll be looking out for market to break a little bit above this eye to look out for short opportunity right there. If market breaks above this eye back to this customer area, I'm going to have a short time trade opportunity until market gets back into this region. So, as of now, looking out for something of such, breaks above this, come back into this region, come a little bit back, a little bit more down, come a back into this area, and then market can eventually make some way back to the side. So, remember, market took out this storm, let's this one. We're breaking our lows for TPs right here, right here. It's going to be our TP ADS right here, right here. That's for so right now we're looking up for bearish dollar a little bit for this week so what if you get bearish dollar what other currency are you going to be trading against that you look up for bearish dollar then it's going to be getting eu going long gu going long and you going long um what's this sort of here AU going long all those kind of foreign currency you're going to be looking up for them so i'm going to be changing the cable on the fiber checking the cable which is um the checking the fiber first which is eu what are we looking at on you? What does it look like? So let's check what it looks like. Hold up, one minute. Let me just check if you get a phone. Can you guys hear me clearly? Yeah, I think everything is working fine. So, no, hold up. Is this being recorded? Okay. So on you, what does what what's you really looking like? What's you looking like? Let's check it out. On here, you, you can we're on the daily right now. You can actually see what I highlighted. The tops, the lows, the previous low, low slow. So if you guys look at this sub without putting any sort of trend line or something like um um EMAs or sorts, you know, without making your chart look messy, just look at this chart and you can identify what the structure is. Should I just point out for you? Very nice structure right here that was been taken out by the low and the top in valley, that all goes in valley. Very big structure right now. I'm going to put this structure right now. This was a low. This was the top we got in the market right now. Market expecting a nice bullish move, expecting a few breaking, accumulating around this area, accumulating for long around this area. So actually makes his way back into this other block right here. And eventually, the one drop, can actually drop right there. Very so straight and straightforward. They need to look out for anything else. That is what the market is actually doing on the item frame. You can see, but there's high chance of market testing loose. So right now, this is what I'm going to ask to pay for one minute. I'm trying to see if I can charge my PC. So on this, this is what we, this is what market is actually doing right now. 
this was a lot we got at this point. This was a lot we got at this point. This still happens to be a custom model area. For those of you that trade on um, what's it called, uh, head and shoulders of sorts, you can start splitting this as in head and shoulder, something like um, am I right? Something like this. You can start splitting something like this. Hold up. Something like this. Head and shoulder, you know, patterns, who knows. I don't know if I'm, if I'm right or no, you know. Something like that, I don't know, probably this was the neckline. Yeah, this was the neckline, then you can start anticipating my coming back into this region. This happens to be the neckline. You can say this is the neckline right there. Why this happens to be the left or something like that, you know. So you guys know what you trade. I don't really care and shut up with pattern. I don't really care and shut up with pattern. But this looking look like a nice pattern setting up to your side. So on this one, I can actually I can tell that the market is actually showing us some sort of bullishness right there based on what the dollar is saying. The dollar is actually showing us some kind of um, bearish move. If the dollar is showing us bearishness, then this is actually showing us bullishness. Um, the, the fiber is going to be a very nice for a person to trade against the dollar. Um, so on this one, I can tell that market is accumulating right here. But based on the accumulation also, if you go back to see this previous low to the outside, happens based on a very significant area around this area. Let me go on H4, I can, I can, I can actually tell, but let's check the just to see some movements. But this still look great as fuck, but as a fucking really matter, pretty low right here. There's a pattern that I do trade, there's a divergence pattern that we really trade right here, so like just pattern like that. No, 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 Weekly looks like the market's gonna go up. Daily looks like the market's gonna go up. H4 was just what it's looking like. Very, very low. I can took out this low. Rally's up. Take this structure to be the one right now. Put the fib on this structure. I remember I caught a buy right from that low because of it I was in. Nice market respecting the 6 one region. Respecting a very good move to the upside. Hopefully, because this is the last bearish candidate to the upside, the bank wants to. Some sort of coming back into your range, you can expect the structure right here. Happens to be the resistance that we have at this point in time, positional resistance at this area. Uh, this happens to be the position resistance we have right now. You can actually see what happened last week was in our market expert at the breaker around uh, there. There was a nice weather block right here, and the other block failed and happens to turn to a breaker. You can see. A lot of others were around this area. A lot of people were looking to buy this move from here. And what happened right there? Um, institution doesn't lose, they don't lose, they don't lose money. So the thing is that they don't lose money. What it is, what they, they can hold, they don't use stop loss, so they can hold them to the position for a very long time. So what they do right here is what they were in the long from this position, and um market actually breaks down, so leaving them in in, in loss. And what actually happened is what they come back all the way to this area to take their position out. And um, they moved the market back to the other side. So there was a nice break right here that was going to expect it. That was a nice short opportunity to take this move to the other side. You can looking at that earlier on before the market eventually dropped. So right now, what are we looking at? There was a nice break right here, also additional footprint that the market expected right here. So can we just get the market back into the structure again? This was the low, it was the low B. Right, you can see come back into the structure before it actually rallies up. And um, on these, I was, I was telling one of my guys what the market actually was doing here to this move to the downside. It was based of um, this trend line. She can actually argue with me. I don't want to know. Fuck it up. Stop play right there. We can enter the trend line. The market is the downside. So right now, we can actually have to get a new trend line. We can add that. I use trend line, so I don't give a fuck about what you think about. I use trend line, so it really works for me. So we can tell what the market is doing right there. If the market tried to break this trend line now, and take out this low, we can actually anticipate them coming back into this low or all the way back into the lower low right here for a nice TP. That's it in case market break this one. So you want to always want to focus on the market breaks out a trend line like that. You can want to watch out for market can do. We use a fucking pair that respect trend lines a lot, so if you don't know. So H4 we are out tonight there. Very nice bearish candle right here. I came back to respect it. This was the high we have right now. So the another high we have right now. Let's check the one hour. Let's check the one hour. Just to anticipate some kind of rallies move that you might be expecting. By the way, I don't know what's up with my PC, but going low, way lower, very, very low. 
right now we can see this was a nice push model high low i can see how this low lower low higher high so i'm gonna anticipate this area and this area is actually aligned with a nice ob right there's a bit of chair that block you can tell what is right this there. What so here? Can, can you see your know, USD? What I'm saying? So, um, can actually as the pace and kind of move right there back into the structure. Nice resistance around this area. So, in the case market comes all the way back to this area, is that chance of market testing way more lower before the market rallies to the upside? But I'm favoring the long opportunity right on this trade. I favor the long opportunity. I feel very long. So basically, I want to trade trend line. You can stick with something like this. Put it on there. Watch out for the breakout of it. The market breaks out of diary. You can actually see some kind of it just went back into the structure. The market breaks out of this trend line. You can actually watch out for your trade opportunities. Something like this could occur. If market do this, if they do this, they can do something of such. Boom. Get back to this area. Something like this. Come back. Goes back into this region. Then it can actually drop right there. You don't want to drop back into the structure. So as of now, watch out for this. I'm not saying you should look out for buy straight away. You can look out for buy after market take this out. Or you look out for buy entry back at this low. If market comes back to take this low, you might take out this low. You might take out this low. Watch out for this area. So right now, I'm looking out for this low that's been taken out. This is the low I have. This is the top I have. I'm going during the learner section. Oh my god. During the learner section, I'm going to show you how we can trace parts of you know London areas like that. But we're looking out for the weekly structure. So weekly structure right here, we can actually anticipate the market comes back into a low right here. We look out for buy opportunity. And the market gets back into this area, we look out for sell opportunity back in the same. Market break out this time, look out for buy opportunity to take the move back into this range. Then based on dollar moving out a little bit higher, we can actually step back a little bit lower before they actually mix their way back to the other side. That's for you know, the USD. And now we're going to go. Sorry, I don't know. It should be knowing the structure I'm talking about. I don't know. Maybe you get lost on this. I don't know. If you get lost on this, you can actually come back later on. So that's for your USD. Watch out for a break below this load and watch out for market rallies up a little bit now. We will see what the market is going to do during the week, don't worry. During the week, we can actually anticipate what the market can actually be doing in the idea. But I really favor the long on your USD. That's what I see. I favor the long on these. I favor the long. Yes, I favor the long on these. As of now, I favor the long. So, um, if you want to trade any PA against the dollar, you need to watch out for if you want to pay, if you want to trade any pay against the dollar, probably want to choose out of euro or out of um, um, pound, or out of the fiber or the cable. You actually want to look out for which of this currency is way more stronger than each other. Is the euro stronger than the pound, or is the pound stronger than the dollar, or stronger than the euro? So when you're able to get that, which of these pound is or euro is stronger, you can actually know which of them to trade against the dollar. If the dollar is bullish, you're looking to sell what? Um, you're looking to sell euro, or you're looking to sell the foreign currency, which is the euro USD, typical USD. So if you want to choose out of the cable or the fiber, which of those pair you want to trade, you want to look out as for euro versus the dollar, or versus the pound. So you want to look out for which of those pairs, which of those two is way more stronger, once you identify the stronger one, then you can actually know which of them to trade against, which of them to choose to trade against the dollar. You know what I mean? Like now we got dollar going up a little bit and dropping. We have a bearish dollar, we're looking up a bullish euro, bullish um bullish move on foreign currency, talking about the euro um GBP USD or Euro USD or AUSD. So if you want to choose which of Euro USD or pound USD, we need to check. Which of them is stronger? Is it is pound stronger than the euro or euro stronger than pound? You want know I mean just want to check the foreign currency just to check out what market can be doing. So we're gonna check euro pound. So if we check euro pound, we can actually ask the pay what euro pound is actually doing. So looking at euro pound, before we check the GBP USD, 
what is Europe pounding? I remember most of you guys, you can watch the bank and look out for when I've been calling banks up until right here. I don't even want to know how many how many times I've been calling bank up until right from that point. I think the last call I did, I was looking up for short opportunity, but it never comes. I remember I told you guys looking up for long opportunity back from the daily. For those of you that were my webinars, you can actually tell. You can tell, you can tell what I'm saying. Oh my God, I don't know what's up with my PC, you know, really charging. Anyway, so we talk about moving right from this area. We talk about moving right from this area. If you look to candies, you can actually tell what markets have been around this area. And that was the reason why we had to the long right there. And I'm um, just fortunately, we can actually see where there's an OB right there. We can see this channel for 20 for the market analysis of the website. upside. That will give some sort of accumulation right here. All this move, all this phase move was phase of accumulation. So move was accumulation. Now, I'm not going to this area. For the little bit white off, we can actually tell you some sort of spring and test right here. Market analysis is very less speed right at this point. So we can actually see, Mike can actually make it way more back lower to this range. It makes it way back to the side. So we can actually see that euro is way more stronger than the pound. So if you don't use way much stronger than the power, we can actually choose EU to trade against the dollar. So if we are prepared to trade against the dollar, since meaning that euro is way stronger than the pound right here, right into the upside. So if you're trading NDP against the dollar, it's gonna be euro because it's gonna be more move than the USD than the pound. So right here, because this is what you're gonna this is what you're gonna look at. Look at what Euro USD did. This was Euro USD last week. You can see what it did. No down movement, despite the fact that dollar was going up. And what was pound doing? Pound was trading to the downside. So that simply means that Euro is stronger than the pound right here. You can see that was why Euro pound is moving to the upside. So identifying the main currency pair that you want to trade against the other is way, way more important when you're looking for stress setups. So now that we have this, what is our bias on Euro pound? Let's try to anticipate the bias that we look at for Euro pound. Euro pound created some sort of accumulation at this phase. And this was a this was a consolidation range. You guys can call it this consolidation range, right? And I call it some sort of liquidity void. Market is trained out of that range. That was the last bearish candle created the move to the upside. It was right at this point. Box it out. The market come back into that range. Anything can happen back in the future. We can get market coming back to this area. Got some sort of busy point at this point. Let me see. It's a nice position on the end right here. None. So we got someone right here also where I can come back into. So what I would, I'm actually expecting on this now is that I got a very nice resistance around this area. Checking back to the daily. You can actually tell. I'm a simple technical trader. You can actually tell what market is doing at this point. Nice. Persistence. Persistence. Break above. I want to be a support level. Break below. I want to be a system here. Right here, we can see 30.25 level. Market spread, market break right here, we can come back into this region. So if you're expecting euro going way more higher than the dollar, than the pound, then GBP US is gonna drop a little bit more. Why euro is gonna be trying to consolidate or try to push up against the dollar. So right here, we're gonna place the FIB on this last push to the upside, to the downside. I want to check what this FIB area market is sitting right now. What FIB area is market sitting right now? So if I'm gonna do this, place it back to this range. I can tell that this is in 30.2 FIB. Market is trying to respect the 30.2 FIB area. And I have a very nice round number around this area, which is around the 900, 0.900 region. A very significant round number. Talking about the 0.900 region. We had the 30.2 align at that point. We had the 50 FIB right here sitting now. We had the 61 right here sitting now. The resistance that we have at this point is a round number around 30.2 and the word 50 feet very very close to the market right now. So that's for the daily. We're still splitting market to test these areas and eventually before the drop. So on the daily, we can actually tell that if market comes back a little bit back into this range that it took out, we look out for buy opportunity back into this range or back into these levels. Market can do that, and they can actually want to do something of such. They can actually want to come a little bit way more higher before they make their way back to the structure. So this was a nice structure that they took out. So they must step a little bit back into the structure. We can actually anticipate. And I want you guys to pay attention to something. Look at this old, this old, this old, yeah, that weeks. This old, old, oh my God, fuck it. I don't know why people don't do this thing. I don't know. 
I'm going to answer that question earlier and later. I don't really understand what you're talking about. I miss. So, talking about looking at something right here, looking at something right here. Can you really tell this for weeks, weeks, weeks? And I'm going to clone something of such this line. I wanted to pay attention to where the support area is right here. This was the close of a candle, and this was the open of it. Market grass supposed right above it. So the same move again. This was the close. This was the week. You can see where the open opens to be right here. Market breaks above it. Close open right here. Close right here. Open this new candle. The move right here. So right here was a nice very sensational area. Talking about this number, it's eight for three hundred three fifty. Or something like it's 8 300 region, it's a very thin can level on the um, you know, farm because this was where most of the close of the candles actually aligns at on the daily before this last push up. So, if market comes back into that region, there's high chance of market being what rallying up right there. We can actually place the feed when market actually makes the way back down. You see that. So, that was an H on the daily right now. We can actually see what we're looking at. Some so, I'm looking at the 900. Level. Also, looking back to the past, you can see we had a nice breaker right here. A little bit of trade breaker. Um, look at this. Thinking about this area. Boom. This was a nice breaker. Those institutional areas that took a short right here, what I think they've taken out of position. I want to talk about anything right there. It was a nice breaker right there. So, Mike, I actually want to spread a 900 level, then make his way back to the downside. And the 38.2. So, if my guess to the 38.2, you can watch out for um, you can watch out for shadow entry back into this region, then you look up a bike right there. So, checking out this is the daily, checking out the four hour a little bit away manual just to check the four hour just to see what we can actually be doing right there. On the four hour, we can actually see where the close of the candles are. Turn to what I showed you guys earlier. This was a nice area, so I'm still looking out of this area. And right here, I think, oh, fuck it, we got a nice institutional OB right there also. So, Mike can only do one of the is OB, who knows? I can't really tell, you know, I'm not an OB trader, I can't really tell. But Mike can come back to the is OB. So, if you look at this OB right there, but I think there's a more sort of mitigation on this one time frame. Somewhere right here, there's sort of, um, top, something about something like this. Matching out to where my decision, uh, my run number is nine zero point nine hundred region. So if market gets back into that range, there's a high chance of be looking up for short opportunities because they're gonna take out these stops. The number of stops right, they're gonna take it out. There's a high chance of looking up for short opportunity back into this range. You can see where this range is back into this range. Then we look out for a long opportunity right there. So looking at this, so we see guys a little bit pushed up. Market can drop from anywhere right there, but I'm just looking out for a potential right there. If market drop right first back into this region, you can look out for a opportunity. So what I'm actually expecting right now is that until oh my god, fucking until market gets back into this region, I will look out for buy opportunity until you move back to the upside. For those of you that lose miss the opportunity for the long ride from this low where I've been calling. Can watch out for market coming back in this region for a nice potential move back up. So that simply means how you know GBP USD is still gonna make a little bit way more lower before what before they actually rallies. So now that we know that euro is a little bit way more stronger than pound, hold up. This piece is gonna crash anytime soon. I don't know fuck what's up. So now that we know the pound is a little bit way more stronger than um euro is a little bit more stronger than pound, we can start the pitting drops on the um, euro on pound USD, then um before some kind of rallies to the upside. We're gonna get rallies to the upside for sure. Let's check pound USD to just see what we've done right there. Automatically, this is what I actually want to see on pound USD. I'm gonna play the line. I'm gonna play the fib on this from here. Take it all the way to the upside. I want to check the fib level. Oh, we really, we really did not match any fib level right there because I didn't really match it at the point of fib level. Automatically, I was anticipating what's it called? Some sort of um. Hold up, guys. One minute, guys. I think 
this is what is this is what I need to wear to charge my PC. Right here, this is a check. Back doors. So on this, I I didn't with we spent a nine thirty point two right here. I might be expecting market to come back to the negative um to the zero point six level, but we never did. So this is out of it. Market is not gonna come back there right now. So what am I looking out for? This was nice, simple to the upside. We're looking out for a nice six one eight region. You can see what the market has been doing around this six one eight region. You can actually tell yourself it was a close of candles. There was a lot of consolidation right here. There's a lot of consolidation right here before the market rallies up. This was where everybody was looking at to short entries. Looking at here, looking at a short entry right there. A lot of people were looking at short entry right there. So if you check back, you can see this is the H4. You can see we had a nice other block right there also. This is what market actually invented. One of you that that block, you can actually see. So I am as the betting market coming back into this region, not based up that block, but based on 600 region. And based on what consolidation market has done right here. So 6165 area is where I'm looking out to see market structure. And then I will be anticipating some kind of move right here. Um checking back to the structure, checking back to this area. You can see there was a low we got at this point. The market breaks to the low, brings the way back up. So I can come back into the region before they pushed up. So this is oh my god, I really need to. Charles, this is I think I'm gonna run this call. So, on this now, this is what I'm gonna, this is what I'm inventing. There was a nice support right here that the market actually respects. Check it out. Last week. Well, if you check on the 15 minute, there's a lot of trade opportunity right here. I'm not gonna talk about that. Now I'm gonna talk about that during the week. Trade opportunity that was presented around this area. A lot of trade opportunity was presented around this area. A lot of it. A lot of it was presented around that area. So but that we have a nice area right here. Well, this could be a breaker. The market actually eventually comes back to test right there. So I am going to be looking at if you look at something, there's something that I saw right here. Check this out. This area has less activity in the market, pure to this most of the side. So we can see what market is doing right there, They're ranging in between that range. So we want to actually watch what market can do around this point for them to go back into this region before they actually move way more lower again. There was a big gap right here. I'm not going to talk about that right for now. What I'm actually looking at is market going back a little bit back into structural movement, back into this area. We get a retest back into this area. The whole mass spitting market coming back to this area before the market eventually makes its way to the upside. But as of now, I think we still got some kind of lower done, lower pound. Um uh move on um, on this. Hopefully market also make its way back to the lower side. I think I would likely appreciate that. But as of now, as of now, there's an free gap. Let's check daily. There's an free gap around this region. There's a free gap around this region from year to year. There's a free gap right there. From year to year, we got a free gap. Market is testing into this free gap right now. We got a nice little block right here that was being filled. I really want to see market come back to the 600 of this. I really want to talk about much of this. So if this is going to go way more lower, if this is going to go way more lower, we're going to look out for entries if market retrace. So now this is the support level that we got on the item frame, right? So if market goes way back into the structure to the third support area, you definitely want to look up a short. So I don't want to say market can actually make his way like this. Then look up a short back into this range that we talked about. So you really want to see market breaks what test this area back before we look up a short opportunity on the daily. Then, if you go a little bit way back to the 15 minute, let me just say one hour. Market can actually make its way back up from here. Highly possible we can get that done. So, we had a nice trend line that we have right here. You guys want to pay attention to that. Why we pay attention to that trend line? For those of you that check trend line, you want to look out for, look at this. This is support level we got, right? 
So we don't look out for only one hour. We are the way God stops. That was a nice assistance right here also. So, should in case, market comes all the way back, we test the structure, there's a nice chance of market doing what? Dropping from there, from this area. And why? Because there was a nice OB right here that was being formed, turns to a breaker. So if market wants to make his way back, if I look out for buy opportunity right here, it's gonna be area to short. Place a fib on this last drop. We can actually just pay that as a nice 17.63 bridge on it. So if market gets way back into this region to take stops, loss, there's a lot of stops around this area. If this stops area has been taken out back into this level, I'm gonna look out for short opportunity. I am not going to buy anything until I see a strength. So if I'm looking out for buys right now, I think this is what I'm looking out for. I don't want the market to do something like this, create a nice bullish move, come back to test the structure, and rallies up. If I go on a 15 minute time frame, I can actually tell us right there. I think they're doing that right now. There was a nice OB right here in the spread. It. You can actually see on the 15 minute. Market is trying to respect that OB. But along the road, we can actually tell us a lot of decision here and this area. Who knows whether market's going to deep right from that point? Anything could happen. But as of me, I only want to see market gets back into a range right here before I look out for big time sell. And if market does not do that, I'm going to be looking out for buys opportunity right from the low. That means I'm not going to be in the sell if market does not make its way back into the upside. So, on this for pound, that is what I got on pound. I don't want to see market goes back into that structure for me to take a nice sell entry. I'm checking the H4. Oh, okay. Before that, I am going to place a move right here. This is what this is my season trade. So, this is what I'm going to wait for. I'm going to wait for Asian range to fill in, the market to fill the Asian range. Then, I'm going to watch out for manipulation. We simply means this is the Asian range right now. This will look got to join the Asian range. Why this? I don't. I, I can't really tell the top yet until London open. So if market comes back during the London and try to break out this low, I might look out for some sort of bias of strength. And um, if market breaks out the top right there, I'm looking for short entry right from this point. I'm focusing on the last drop that we got in the market. I'm focusing on the last drop that we got in the market. Well, this is a nice drop structure. If you place a few from this to this, now you can come back to test a nice area right here. But I don't want to see a hair high. I don't want to see market comes back to this range. Of, I don't want to see market coming back from that region. That is what I care for. If I look at a short opportunity to that side, well, if there's any need to change this analysis, I'm going to give you guys on Monday. Who knows? So that's for pound. What other period I really want to talk about? I'm talking about. How I was going to talk about you and see chop real quick before I leave call it. I'm going to call it the day because of that. I'm going to talk about other pair during the week. So this was a pair. I didn't want to make this short. This was a pair I really analyzed. For those of you that was trading with me last week, you actually want to take a short on trade on this from this point and probably were in profit, I don't know, right from this area also. So this is what I'm anticipating on this pair. Very nice structure. There's something that you guys want to pay attention to. You always want to highlight highs and lows in the market. Because the market, once the market takes an eye out, there's a high chance of market was dropping back in the downside. My student knows that what I've been talking about right there. So this was a high we got around this area. Market took out the eye, make his way back down. This was a low we got. Market took out this low, make his way back to the upside. Now we got this lower low, we got this lower low. This was a low we got around this point. Market took out this low, make his way back to the upside. So right now we got this high, we got this low. What I'm looking at on this for? There was an eyes that are block being respected right here. If market wants to rally to the upside, if they take this eye out, we're gonna be looking at this eye for a nice area short move. Based on what the lies actually doing, we want to put on what the lies doing, right? We're looking out for rallies and dollars, a little bit spike to the upside, and we'll look out for a short entry. So on this also, I can actually ask the If market comes back a little bit back to break the stops, I'll be looking out for this stops area for a nice short opportunity. If the trend line is being broken out right here. If this trend line has been taken out, I'm looking at a short opportunity also. I think we got a short trend line right here that we guys want to pay attention to. Also, on the one hour time frame. But I wouldn't pay attention to this right now. Check it out. And this is what we got. This is what we got. Let's make this of this. This was the right TP. This was the right trend line that we have right here. So if market takes that out, 
we're going to look out for shift opportunity. We're going to take out this low. The more this channel has been taken out, it was a nicer that book that's been expected. Anything fucking thing that can happen, I can come back to take this top out. This was the top that has been taken out. So we're looking at this, this is the top we got at this point in time. It was a nicer that book around this area. So if market take out these tops, we're looking out for this area. So for this video that took a long opportunity right here, you're going to want to hold up for some sort of, um, well, I could say, if market comes back into this region again, I'm able to break this trend line. You can watch out for a long opportunity for these stops to be taken out. So the moment this stop has been taken out, you can actually tell. This stop has been taken out, market is still bullish, we still got a bullish structure. So please the feel from this area. Then we're going to go to the upside. You can see we're expecting a nice 618. Target area is going to be the negative 612. So box this out, match it out to see where the market is aligned at. A very nice area. Reading these stops, targets in this ones. So if market comes back into this region, there's a high chance of being looking out for nice sell opportunity. If they take out this top, we have a sell opportunity right from this area. But as of now, I think my can really rallies up. Anything can happen. That's what I got. If you're looking out for bad opportunity, if market comes back a little bit way more down, look out for bad opportunity. If market pick out this top, pick out the sell, pick out the take out your TP and um, sell from that region. If this challenge is being breached. I'm not going to take out this low, look out for the retest, target the next low right here. If this, if this low has been taken out, you target this low to the down side. So as of now, the structure is way, way, way more clear. Way more clear. I'm looking about this move. What I care about is page. If you want to forget, I'm looking about page. This is what I've been giving guys. I'm looking for page structure. That's what I have on this structure. I'm not going to page on this. So that is what I'm looking out for you going up. So. But anything can happen, market can really want to raid the tops just to take a stop hunt. So if that really occur, you want to look out for stops right above this area before you look out for sell entry. And if that doesn't really happen, watch out for your sell entry if market break this low. Well, I think on this on 15 minutes, this was the very other block is right here. Um, spot is level right, this was the low. We've got a nice OB right here. Right on this trend line. So what can actually happen? <laughs> market can actually do something of such. Look at this low. Let's pair this. You want to come up? This was it. Where is the stop lying around this area? There's a stop right here. There's a stop around this area. For those of people, for anybody shots in the street right from there, that is where you're gonna have the stops. So this is where the stop is in the market. This is with the top that we have. The stop is right above this eye. Stop is right above this eye. We've got a nice right this right here. So if market respect is the other block right here, I don't know if they're gonna do that. So don't take my word for that. You know, I'm not another block trader. I'm not another block trader like that. So in case market comes all the way back to the structure, take this low out. Respect is one probably join the join the other section and try to rally the way back to this top. Take the stop out. Comes back into this region. I'll look up for sell opportunity right there, according to what I told you. So, the market take down the stops out, take out the stops out. There's a high chance of we looking out for sell opportunity back into this region. Check it out. This was the last bullish move just to the downside. So, you guys want to box that out? Last bullish move was right here. So that's gonna be where it was. That's gonna be where man can actually drop from. If market eventually breaks all the stops, that is if they break all the stops. So we have two scenarios. If this low is being breached, look out for break and interest of this channel and short this move to the downside. If you wanna take something of such, you can do. But I'm not really interested for you. If you wanna do that, watch out for that kind of break and interest also. But as of now, this is the very structure where we have market expecting a 961, it's 17.65 level. Inside and of them coming back to the downside. But well, based on the impulse move that we got last week, this was the bench move. That came back to the spread structure right here. Then pull up. So if market is holding back on this range, you can actually see market coming back to this level for a nice sell opportunity. Now that's for this. Um, the other pair I want to talk about before I end this call is gonna be AN. It's gonna be this one. 
it's going to be this one. So this one has a lot of trade opportunity also. Like it has a lot of trade opportunity right on this pair. You guys can actually tell what the market is doing right there, right? You can tell the market is trying to respect. Uh, market is changing some sort of accumulation right there. Look at it, it took out all the stops right below the slope. Then makes it very dramatically high to the upside around the 1.100 region. That's the best significant level. 1.00 region. So if you move a thousand pips, which is going to be 1.1100, that's going to be a very strange move to the upside. How I can't really tell if the market is going to do such. So now, what am I expecting? We guys can actually see this the weekly. We got a nice institutional footprint right here. So box institutional footprint that you can actually see is the whole institutional footprint that market has been tested. And now we can see market is right into it. I don't really see wait I don't. Right here, this is the center footprint that we got. Market is right into it. Can really market really drop from there? And we can wrap from there. I can actually anticipate market dropping right from there. So based on the weekly, this is an accumulation phase. All year happens to be a distribution phase before the move rallies to the downside. Then we got what? A test of resistance. Then we got some sort of new phase right here. Over market eventually makes their way back to the downside. Right from this point, then we are accumulated around this area. Same length that we are called right here, I think this is what we did just to the downside or so. Talking about structural move right here. I think they completed the phase right here, you can see. So then we rally to the upside without any retracement. All year happens to be distribution, the accumulation, sorry. Market accumulated a little bit right here. They make their way back to the upside. Right here, what happens to be another reaccumulation phase. I'll take it to short somewhere right here. The market never makes it right there. So now, this is what I'm looking at for. This was the distribution phase back in the day. So we're going to play the on the distribution phase. It's a positive level which I'm going to be looking at for right now because market already reached 620 here. We're right at the 70.63 region right now. Check it out and see what this thing right there. What we need right now is another distribution. But what I'm really freaked about is that if market really wants to drop, I think they want to take our stops. So we are the stops lying around this area, right above this area. For anybody trading this support and assistance. Right above this area, this was a very major support and system. We can potentially say support, support, assistance, assistance, assistance. You can see support, support, assistance, assistance. So if market really wants to drop, if they don't drop from this area, they're going to drop from this area that I like to. I'm going to make it a little bit more or something like this. I want to make it somewhere right now, but let me see if this really works. 1.900. Let me see if that really works. No, no, no. I can tell right from here. From 50 region. Okay, so if market really take our stops on this area. There's high chance of them dropping from that point. That's should in case they want to take our stops. I can't really tell if they want to take our stops, but we can actually see there's a nice support here. We might not even want to take any fucking stops because we do not really take stops right here. So we can get some kind of double top right there. But as of me, I'm looking for short opportunity. So if institutions are also looking for short opportunity, what are they definitely going to be doing? They're going to be shutting all this candle. All these books to the upside, they're going to be selling it. And if you are selling all these books to the downside, the next kind of we're going to get is going to be a very big move to the downside. So if you guys want to wait out, you can wait for accumulation and um, distribution around this phase, around this area. Watch out for distribution right there, right around this area for short opportunity. Watch out for distribution right there. So if market take out stuff, this is going to be a very good area for you to look out for. 1.09150 area is going to be a very good area for you to look out for. So in case market take out stops. But of me, I'm looking out for something of such. The market does not really do that. I'm going to watch out for what market does later on. But I think this is the region we're looking out for. So if you check on H1, 
and check on each one. Oh no, we don't need to go to each one. Let's go to each four just to see. Each four we can actually tell what market is doing right now. This is so chop has been derived right here. I think they can really want to go a little bit with more. Yeah. Is there any post model here at that point? No. What a block was right there. 0 0.088 0 0.0840 region. Happens to be a round number. Happens to be a very good round number. So you guys can watch out for that. And happens to be a post model area also. Happens to be a very good post model area on the H4. Happens to be a very good post model area on the H4. So this is, the price is very, very close to it. Am I right? And what am I doing? Right there. Right there. I'm supposed to be a very good cross model area. You can add this for right, you can tell. High eyes, blah, 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 shit like that. Then market out the eyes will be right there. So 0 0.08 400 could be a very good area for us to look out for. Sell opportunity. So first tip is going to be last consolidation area, which happens to be the reface that market got right here. There was a nice reface right here. The creative void was derived around this point. Consolidation, market spike up. Where was the move? Where was the start of the move right here? So if market comes back all the way down to this region, you can start anticipating some other stops like that. But as of now, I want you guys to start paying attention to what the market can actually be doing. A very nice channel breach right there. I took a short sell and I was in profit, so I don't really care. But the channel has been breached, so I think that is why um after where I use up because of this. This was what we're expecting. This was what we were expecting, so you guys can actually watch out for your brand comes all the way back into that region. If you break that channel, you can watch out for sell. More sales, more sell. This is the top, this is the top that we've been rated. We really this top to take stop out. We really this top to take stop loss back into the other block area. Don't be like Chira Monique. I think there's a nice pattern right here. X A B got it around the 618. Maybe 618. I think there was a nice crab or sorts right here on this point. I don't know, you can check it out yourself. I think there was a crab pattern right there. That is if you trade a money pattern. You know, it doesn't really have to be trade a money. But I think there was a nice pattern right there. I think there was a very nice one right there. Very nice one right there. Yes, there was a nice pattern right there. So in case market want to respect this pattern, then they can do something of such. I'm not giving you the pattern right now, but this is a very good pattern. This is a short entry of. The very good time to take a short entry of. A nice crap pattern. Now on this region. It's already activated. This pattern is already activated for a nice sell off. For a nice sell off. So I think that actually ends the video for today. I'm going to see, I'm going to see you guys in the week when I have a lot of tutorials with okay fine I think I got something else to show you I think I got something else to show you based on the structure very nice and push right from year to year to the nice six one region maybe see the pattern completely now in this area also so I really want to know why you guys don't want to take any fucking trade right here well if you call it a reversal trade I don't know for you but I'm gonna look up a set opportunity maybe see the pattern right here back into this region this is my completion of the ABCD pattern back into this range. But now I'm looking up a sort of opportunity right there. Well, you can see where the stop post is. This, for those of you that check ABCD pattern, you can actually just pay that. This is what the last move for the ABCD pattern. So if market does not drop from here, this is where it's going to drop from. Check back from what I said. But this is the last move from the ABCD pattern. So we're going to look out for trade opportunity on this this week. This week, there's a lot, there's trade opportunity on that. Let's try to check. Let's try to check the last leg that occurred in this market. Right there, you can see. The last leg that occurred was right here. So market coming back to the structure. You can see. 
So I think that actually ends the video for today. I'm gonna see you guys at the end of the week. I won't take much of the time again. Have a wonderful night. Sleep tight. Bye bye. No other resolution next week. I'm um, done the week, sorry.